All right, here we go. Uh, second edition this week of Selling Hobson by the Pound. And this is for the Music 24, I think, um, and their listings. This week, um, we're back on jazz from last week. It was a really big week this past week. And this is more of those records. Here's that Riverside fantastic uh, copy, Monk 5x5, five five, uh, original Riverside deep groove pressing in absolutely stunning condition. Um, great, great record on Atlantic. Milt Jackson, Plenty of Soul. This is an original deep groove Atlantic black label pressing. I, these records are in absolutely stunning condition. And um, it's really hard for me to let go of some of these, but you know what? Um, they, they, uh, I want to share. So here's a big record you don't see very often. Juju, uh, Wayne Shorter, uh, BN4, BST, I'm sorry, 84, 182. Um, I think in very good condition. One of my perennial favorites, and of course I have a copy of this that I saved, which is Sonny Rollins' Way Out West. I had quite, a, I collected quite a few copies of this, all in very, very good condition. This is a, a beautiful copy, my goodness. Um, and then we've got uh, something else, the music of Ornette Coleman, uh, contemporary S7551, uh, with a, an original inner sleeve and a Jeez, beautiful pressing as well. Here's another favorite, audiophile favorite as well, contemporary uh, schmack up art pepper quintet uh, with Pete Jolly and Frank Butler. Contemporary S7602. Again, just a, a beautiful, beautiful original deep groove contemporary pressing. Um, the Cecil Taylor Quartet, Looking Ahead, S7562. Again, same kind of situation, beautiful deep groove contemporary pressing. And then we come to a couple of very rare records that I've never seen before, and most people haven't, and you probably will never see this again. These are Harry Parsh records. Um, I forget, this is uh, Gate 5. A uh, lot of crazy stuff going on here. Uh, this is Harry Parsh... Um, made his own instruments. And so um, this makes avant-garde seem mainstream. I will tell you that. It is completely unique. Um, beautiful sounds on these crazy instruments that he made. And he put these out his, himself. And so that's why they're so rare. I'm sure that they didn't sell very well back in the day, uh, not having. And this is the other one, um, Harry Parsh. Um, Plectra and Percussion Dances. My goodness. And this, I think, is on green vinyl, if I recall correctly. Look at that. Is that ridiculous? And by the way, this is one of those uh, mono records. Both of these are mono, but this is one of those mono records that has no groove guard. And so if you, and I put this on the scale, I think these weigh about 190 grams. So... They're audiophile records of old. Sounds actually really, really nice on these. Big, big mono sound, but impossibly rare. So there are some other listings for uh, the Music 24 as well. Check them out on, the, on eBay. And as always, good luck to everyone.